What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa, literally. I want to share this uh, report that came out of Oklahoma government officials who actually was speaking about doing harm to black folks if they could get away with it. Listen to this and I'll be back. They're insignificant in my life. Yes. Really? They, they bring the whole thing. Is, you know, it goes around, goes around. It, it will. I told you it will. Yeah. Well, I, I know where two big deep holes are here. I gotta ask about it. Well, these are our three duds. But the yeah. thing of it is, you know. We actually told the truth. I've known two or three hit men that were very quiet guys. Yeah. And would cut no f***ing mercy. Yeah. In Louisiana. Because it was all mafia around yeah. Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but here's the reality. If a hair on his wife's head, her son's hand's head, or any of those people that really were behind all that, if the hair on their head got touched by anybody, who who would be the bad guy? Who'd you blame for? Yeah. I heard the other day, said, I heard 10 or 12 people going to surf. I said, let's get 20. They don't have a goddamn clue what they're getting into. Oh, it, yeah. Not this day and age. It's a, but, but everybody. I'm going to tell you something. It was back in the day, would they, like when Alan Marshall would take a damn blackjack, whoop their ass and throw them in the cell, I'd run the f***ing chair. Yeah. Well, it's not like that no more. I know. <laughs> we'd take them down here on a mud creek and hang them up with a damn rope. Yeah. But you can't and do that. About it, they got more rights than we got. What do you think? You know, the governor there in Oklahoma, he left a message. And, you know, his message... Though it sounds, you know, a reply like a governor should say, I still say that we don't even know where he stands because every person behind the, behind the closet that they live in have secret prejudices and biases. But his response, who was Governor Kevin Stitt, says, I am both appalled and disheartened to hear of the horrid comments made by officials in McCurtain County. Governor Kevin Stitt said in a statement Sunday, there is simply no place for such hateful rhetoric in the state of Oklahoma, especially by those that serve to represent the community through their respective office. I will not stand idly by while this takes place. I don't know this governor, but I've said it before, family. Our backs are against the wall. You will never be treated fairly in damn Erica. Put a D in front of America, capitalize the E. Damn Erica. You don't know who is who. You see, the KKK switched their sheets and put on suits and ties and badges and judges robes, you know, the racist, you can't point out. We don't know what goes on in these people's houses and, or the groups they're affiliated with. All the thing we know is we are servants to them, workers. We do not know when we get passed over for promotions. We don't know when we get overlooked for pay raises. We don't know if we got, didn't get the job because of who we had to interview in front of. We don't know if our children doesn't get into the colleges that they aspire to or being getting chosen for a position, whether in sports, whether in music, to be able to be the first seat, be able to get drafted. We do not even know. And while we press on our dreams, our goals, our aspirations in a racist country, you'll never know your full potential. It is sad in 2023 that we live in that these Western countries still hold on to the deep prejudice from the days of old. We see our brothers and sisters out here who try to make ends meet, who try to do right, who struggle stri through stripes, who fight to survive, who have tried to follow the law of the lands and yet continue to be mistreated, to be ostracized, to be ridiculed and dominated. My prayers go out to each and every one of you all. 
that you turn your life over to the Most High to give you answers. How to make way, how to get you and yours out of these situations. I pray that the innocent hands that don't have blood on them prosper and overcome. You know, it just makes me sick. I had to be raised up in that country. I've dealt with a lot of prejudice and I've come to the understanding that majority of the people that are there are prejudiced or have vices that they don't even realize how their actions are or what is rooted deep within them that comes out when things don't go their way. I am convinced, yes, America, damn Erica to be exact, put the D in front of America, capitalize the E, is the worst country in the world. I say that not out of opinion, but out of fact. You can speak about your house or your car you drive that you do not own. You can talk about your degree you went, got because you went to college. You could talk about living in your prestigious neighborhoods or the designer clothes you have. But at the end of the day, the skin that you're in means nothing to them. It means nothing to these racist people who you can find in the churches, in your governments. You can find them in your neighborhoods, in the businesses, in the colleges, in the judicial systems. You find them in your governments. You find them in the White House. You find them in the Capitol buildings. You find them everywhere. But the question is, who are they? Now I know many people who might have ties to other race of people may even be mixed in their own family. I'm not speaking to those people who are not racist. I'm speaking to the system that exists in the country that even you put your hand to the plow to cause it to be great as you say, or to build others wealth by the work that you provide and do. There is no way around it. When you work in the banking system and you have to deny somebody a loan because of the policies that have been created against those who may not make the money, who may live in certain areas, or who just didn't get the credit score, or you're just a risk because of the color of your skin. It might be you who while you sit and try to get into these, the corporate world, that you have to perform and act like you typically don't. Laugh at the boring jokes, show up at the meetings, have to go to over and beyond than everybody else in order to save your job. I know you don't get it. Many of you all are young and those who are older understand we had to walk through it. I'm glad I was able to be diligent and work my tail off in that system to be able to get financially stable enough to be able to leave. Many do not have that option. So I say, as you navigate, navigate cautiously, but yet prayers do work. The Most High has it out for you. Believe me, it is not by chance, coincidence or accident that you've come across my video, no matter where you are around the world, that you could remove yourself from a dead situation. This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. Think about it, 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 think about it.